Hello, so in this video we're going to be looking at composite functions. Now composite functions are when we put two or more functions together and then we take one after another. Now the key thing of this is knowing which way round to do them and I like to think of them as this is f acting on g of x which means that g of x is going to become our input for f. So first of all we must do g first and then we do F. So the important thing is remembering which way round. So you always start with the right from this end and you work through your composite functions that way. Okay, so let's just have a little look at a question. So we've got two different functions. We've got f of x equals 2x minus 1 and g of x equals x squared. So we want to find f of g of x. So first of all, we want to know what g of x is. Now g of x is x squared. And that becomes our input. The answer to that becomes our input for f. Now, whatever's in this little bracket here is your input for uh, your f function. So that means that that becomes, wherever you see x in the formula, here, you put what's ever inside that bracket. So we get uh, 2x squared minus 1, 2x squared minus 1. Okay, now it's important to note that f of g of x is not the same as g of f of x. If we work out g of f of x, remember f of x is 2x minus 1, and then that becomes your input for g of x. And if you remember, g of x equals x squared. So this thing here is your x, new x thing, and that becomes 2x minus 1 squared. And so that doesn't equal 2x squared minus 1. Okay, let's just try a, another one. This time we've got three functions. Um, so we've got h of x is 2x squared, f of x is 2x minus 1, and g of x is 2x. And I'm going to do three. I'm going to do h acting on f of g of x, where f is acting on g of x. So I start, if you remember, from the right and move in. So I start with the g of x. What is g of x? g of x is 2x. So we're going to have h acting on f, where the input for f is 2x. So we go and look at what our f of x is, and where we see x here, we're going to write 2x. So we have 2 times 2x minus 1, but we've still got that h to act on that. So we've got h acting on all of that, sorting that out a little bit, that h acting on 4x minus 1. Now this is now our input for h of x. So every time we see x here, we're going to put 4x minus 1. So this is two lots of 4x minus 1 squared. Two lots of 4x minus 1 squared. So the key to doing these is just make sure you start on the right and you move forward and every, your answer for each bit becomes the input for the next bit. They take a little bit of practice, they're not difficult but you just need to remember which way to go. Okay, I hope that's helpful.